Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I am the CHALL Dogs to Ball, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update. Today, we are going to be talking about Bush Gardens Tampa Bay, and this is on 2024. You might see where I'm going with this. Now, Screamscape have been putting up some speculation and rumour, so the rumour mill is turning again uh, for Bush Gardens Tampa Bay. Bay. And this is on a potential new roller coaster for 2024. So please do like, comment, subscribe, click the case bell, send this YouTube video, go follow all the socials in the description, shout out to Screamscape for everything to do with this, and let's get straight into this one because there is a lot to get through. Uh, so this full explanation is from Screamscape, and this is what has been said. Uh, after finally getting out in Guazi opening 2022 and finally starting to build the long delayed SNS Screaming Spring project, you might be wondering just what the park may be planning next for 2024 or 2025. The way things have been going in the other parks in the chain, we've been seeing a series of new roller coasters being added one after the other, which is somewhat unusual for the SeaWorld Entertainment Parks. For example, SeaWorld California just opened Emperor, uh, as well as their delayed Arctic themed family launch coaster project expected for 2023. Bush Gardens Williamsburg's got Project Dark Coaster opening in 2023. They had Pantheon the year before. It's getting permits for another large coaster for 2024. SeaWorld Orlando's got Icebreaker and then it's the High Surf project for next year. SeaWorld on San Antonio's got Tidal Surf, they're screaming swing this summer. And plans for the new Flume Ride, which is set to be one of the, the new Intamin Booster Ride. Uh, Leaks set to be coming in 2023. Um, we also have Bush Gardens Tampa. And there's got to be something being worked on. And if you see the trend, you can start to see what's happening here. The Screaming Swing, for example. So you've got Screaming Swings popping up in Tampa, Bush Gardens, Williamsburg. You've got Tidal Surge. Now, as the first part with an RMC hybrid coaster, Tampa has been in the forefront of that. But in doing so, they converted the more family-friendly thriller Guazi into an absolute monster in the form of Iron Guazi. So, look at wooden coasters. Started with the family friendly Invader in 2017, and then Oscar's Wacky Taxi, which is even more family in 2018 for Sesame Place, Pennsylvania. Then you've got Texas Stingray, open just ahead of the COVID shutdown in 2020. And then um, look at the pattern here. You can see where we're going with this. Nothing's been confirmed, so this is only a long term rumor at this point in time. Barely a whisper in the wind, but Screamscape are hearing that Tampa is looking to add their own wooden coaster experience once again to the park. Based on positive guest response from the previous three, word is that they're looking to get something that would fit between Texas Stingray and Invader in size. Ideally, they're looking for another mid-range coaster experience to serve as a stepping stone between the family coasts and the giant thrillers in the theme park, which is essential when they built Cobra's Curse in 2016. Now, the rumor location is the Jungala area. Now, if, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll know that I gave credit to Bush Gardens Tampa Updates and another Twitter account for walls going up in the Jungala site. Now, Jungala is an area of the park. Uh, for family attractions, couple of family attractions. Um, now that is set to be the rumored location. And if memory serves, there is a big empty spot behind Jungala and Tigris where the back half of the old Tanganyika tidal wave flume used to reside. Again, it's a very, very quiet rumor at this stage, but it does fit in with the direction of the company was heading to prior to the pandemic. And with the current push towards adding more roller coasters to all the parks, now directions can change and other projects jump to the forefront as needed. And of course, this old rumor also sets in stone with the Jungala wall construction that's been going on over the past week or two over at the park. So this for me is a very interesting situation, a very developing situation. We are going to be keeping our eyes on this story and the situation as a whole. But for me personally, I think this fits in perfectly with the park for 2024 or 2025. Um, for me personally, I mean, first of all, the rumored location, it fits right in with what's happening at the moment over the last week or two. The construction walls going up in Jongala. And if it's a, and if it's as big a site as we're talking about here with the walls going up, I think we're looking here at the site for the next roller coaster. And to be honest with you, a, a GCI wooden coaster or a Gravity Group wooden coaster that's somewhere in the middle of the size between Invader and Texas Stingray, I think that it, that kind of size roller coaster would be 
perfect for the park. Really good, bridging the gap between the families and the thrill seekers. It has some decent elements, not too tall, not too fast. Just a nice mid-range family thrill roller coaster to be that stepping stone in the park. Um, especially, like I said, like, like I said, giving up something like Guazi, which is very much family thrill with the with the dueling element as well. To bring it into this massive thrill coaster, Iron Guazi, which, by the way, everyone's a fan of. But then you leave that family thrill market off the table again. You've got Cobra's Curse, and now you're going to look to be having, in a couple of years, this new wooden coaster. So, I think the rumour fits right in perfectly with what's been going on with construction recently, with Jungala's site, uh, with the site of the area of Jungala in the park. I think it fits in perfectly with what's been going on. Um, and me, personally... If that ends up becoming completely and utterly true, I think we're looking at a really good attraction here for 2024 or 2025. I think there's a really good chance for good future projects here for Bush Gardens Tampa. So, that is it for now. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. And for now, I am the C-H-A-L-L, Dogster Born but Built for Theme Parks, your theme park journalist. Keep living the coast of life. And I'll see you guys next video very, very soon. This is a developing story. We will keep our eyes on it. Take care, guys. Have a tampatastic day. Brilliant weather in Florida. So I hear.